So the role of a radiologist has really evolved over time. Uh, as we uh, really um, integrate uh, more into the patient safety aspect of things, it's really no longer acceptable for patients who present to a hospital either acutely sick or with problems that have been going over uh, months and months to try to do some sort of therapy without understanding what actually is going on. So in other words, you don't treat without a diagnosis. And increasingly, we're using imaging to make that diagnosis. So whether a patient comes to the emergency department acutely unwell, or whether they've had something over several months uh, with weight loss and some other symptoms, before a decision is made as to what sort of treatment that patient can have, we need to have a diagnosis. And increasingly, imaging is a central part of that diagnosis. And as radiologists, we've been working with uh, equipment manufacturers to make that kind of imaging safer, quicker, and more appropriate for the patient. So the radiation dose, for example, for things like chest x-rays and CT scans, has come down dramatically as a result of radiologists working hand in hand with the manufacturers. In the same way, we also work with our clinician partners, with the physicians and the surgeons in the hospital to help them understand the sort of things that we can do, the sort of information that we can provide to help them make a diagnosis in helping patient care.